Hey, hey, music community, Jeff here again. And this time I'm jumping on a little thread. This this uh, intrigued me. Um, this is a thread. I saw Chris at Record Talk do this, but then he mentioned that Dylan at Noble Records is the one who started it. So I went and watched both of their videos to get an idea on what's going here. It's a 20 chain, 20 album chain connection, whatever. Um, so basically, it reminded me, Dylan said it reminded him of a game they played back when he was younger, but it reminds me of the way that they used to have that game, uh, the Kevin Bacon game, where, you know, how many steps from one movie can you get a connection to Kevin Bacon? I don't know if you've heard of that one. That was on the, around the internet for a while there, but it's like, no matter where you start, usually within five steps, you can find a connection to Kevin Bacon. I mean, similar to that, you're taking an album. In this case, I'm taking an album, and you're looking at an album and taking another artist from that album, what they played on, then somebody from that album and what they played on, and then somebody from that album and what they played on until you can connect 20. Um, I didn't go so far as to, you know, try to loop it around. That would have taken some extra work, but uh, I was able to jump through. And I tried to go with a little less common. Um, like you hit some bands and you're like, wow, you know, these guys, I could go all kinds of directions. But you'll see, I tried to go a little more obscure at times just to kind of, complicate things some so let's get right into this it's 20 albums i'm not going to spend a lot of time on these so um, i wanted to start somewhere odd and try to go on different directions so pulled out some classic daryl hall and john oates on here we have lee sklar i think is his name lee sklar on bass lee sklar also played bass on billy cobham's spectrum album from the 70s and uh, yes, great classic album, his first. And on here, we also have on guitar, Tommy Bolin. Of course, anybody who's anybody probably knows in the rock world that Tommy Bolin played for Deep Purple for a while, aside from a lot of solo stuff. Um, so Tommy Bolin, Deep Purple. Also in Deep Purple is Glenn Hughes. Glenn Hughes has done a lot of stuff, still does a lot of stuff. Glenn Hughes, Hughes used to be in Trapeze. And also on this Trapeze album, we have Dave Holland on drums. Dave Holland, of course, spent some time in the Judas Priest lineup on drums. Judas Priest also contains K.K. Downing on guitar. K.K. Downing went on to do K.K.'s Priest. Sort of a solo band project, but, you know, uh, solo band, whatever. Uh, the vocals on K.K.'s Priest is uh, Ripper Owens. Ripper Owens also did vocals on Tourniquet's Gaze, to Medusa, Gaze at Medusa. He did the vocals on this album. And also on this album, the, some of the guitar work was done by Chris Poland. Chris Poland, of course, has his history in early Megadeth days. And Megadeth also contains Dave Elson. Dave Ellison, of course, went on to do lots of stuff, but he also did the Metal Allegiance project with a host of other musicians including one mark mangi um, and mark mangi went and also has worked with bpmd which of course this could take me in different directions you got bobby blotzer and you got mike portnoy but you know you got mangi and uh, on this album of course we also have as i mentioned mike portnoy again lots of avenues there because he's done a lot of stuff but i'm going with the winery dogs uh, Mike Portnoy with the Winery Dogs also plays with Billy Sheehan. Again, another one who's been everywhere, but he plays with Sons of Apollo, a super group of sorts with all kinds of great musicians. It could take you in any direction if you wanted to from this point, including the, the keyboardist Derek Sherinian. Derek Sherinian, of course, spent some time in the Dream Theater camp. Dream Theater, of course, features a lot of other virtuoso musicians, one of which uh, is the vocalist, James Labrie. James Labrie has done all kinds of appearances, but he also has a solo uh, project that he's done quite a few albums with. And on the solo album here, we've got Ray Rendell. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right, but he's the bass player, Ray Rendell. Ray has also played with the solo project for Rob Halford. Rob Halford's solo project has uh, Bobby Jarzombek, I guess his name, on, on drums. And this is the only time we're switching over to a CD because I wish I had this on vinyl. But uh, Bobby played on Rob Rock's Holy Hell album. And as you can see right there, you may not be able to see it, but it says special guest Tobias Semet, I guess is his name, Tobias. 
Tobias is known for all kinds of stuff, but he's also the mastermind behind Avantasia. You can see his name right there at the top. Avantasia, of course, opens the door to lots because it's just guest musicians and singers galore. And in this case, we've got Jorn Land. Jorn Land has done a lot of stuff too, including solo work and other band projects, but he also is part of this duo with, uh, with uh, Russell Allen. So it's the Russell Al Allen Land Project. And uh, anyway, Russell Allen, of course, has done a lot of stuff too. Um, and yes, I am aware that his band Symphony X's material, just two of the vinyl just got reissued. I'm looking forward to getting those at some point. But he went on after Symphony X and did Adrenaline Mob. Adrenaline Mob initially featured Mike Portnoy on drums, but then they went on to have A.J. Perro on drums. Now, A.J. Perro did the full album prior to this, and during, I believe it was during that tour, he passed away. He does appear on one track on the drums here because this is right after he passed away. They recorded this, and I guess they were in the process of recording it. So he does appear on this album, the one I have on vinyl. And uh, anyway, but on this album is A.J. Perro on drums. And AJ also used to play in the 80s with the band called Cities. You see his cool little picture there. I think he also was in some other band that had some albums out in the 80s and 90s. I don't know. Some little band that seemed like they had makeup or something. I don't know. Some band that nobody's ever heard of. But he played with Cities. So there you go. That's it. Real quick. 20, I think that was 20, I hope that was 20. I think I counted it right. But it's fun. Jump on this if you can. It's just kind of fun to dig through your collection, see what you come up with. And I'll be back. Rock on and rock hard.